Welcome to the first episode of the Flex on Grail screencast. In this episode, I'll show you how to build a very simple image rotation and scaling service using the Google App Engine Flex and Grails. Let's begin. Here's my application. It's hosted on the Google App Engine and it's a very simple tool. With it, I can go to any website. So let's say here I go to iconhascheeseburger.com. I can copy the image URL location, go back to my website, and I can paste the image. Now you'll see that I have my image provided in a 500 by 500 grid. I can use the handles to resize the image. So let's say here, and I can say I want to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise. Preview it. As you can see, I have my image now provided for me, rotated 90 degrees. I can go in, I can flip it vertical, I can flip it horizontal, let's return it to zero degrees. And I can use this thing called Feeling Lucky, which is um, something provided by the Google App Engine image service. Preview it again. And there you can see that my image has come back. Now let's make it smaller. And I can then download this image. Boom, you see the image is back. Okay, so how do we do this? And how does the code look like? Let me walk you quickly now through the code in Flex. So um, this is Flex Builder. Um, as you can see, the function that does this, it's about 90 lines of code, both uh, with the UI and the code needed to manipulate the images. Uh, we start off with um, the first screen which is uh, this code down here is in a format called MXML, which is an XML-like format. It creates this initial screen for us after we click on Get Image. Um, in here, you see the button calls a Fetch Image function, which doesn't really do much. Uh, it sets the source of our second image to whatever was pasted in that path. And it says a state here, um, image showing to be true. Now, when image showing is true, all the screens disappear and it shows this second screen that has um, obviously this visible equals image showing tag in all these items. Now, um, what's interesting in this second screen is uh, this scaling and rotation tool. Now, this is actually very, very straightforward in Flex. Uh, because somebody else has done all the work for us. So if you see here, I have this wrapper, uh, Object Handles, which you can download from um, code.google.com flex slash Object Handles. And it's an uh, open source object handle library that allows you to rotate, move, scale, transform images. Um, if you look at the code here, it's very straightforward, object handles, show them, and then you basically just wrap your image inside of it. Now, as I come here to my original transformation and I go in and I change the dimensions um, with these extra properties, whenever I click on preview, what's happening here in my code is I, you can see that I have a button here that says preview that just says uh, when I click on it, go to preview image. Now, if we go to the definition of preview image, all it says is we have this third function called image to preview. We set um, this preview pane that's going to take over everything else. And we set the source to transform URL. Now, what's interesting here is this transform URL, which basically all it does is it's a call to our Google App Engine web services. And what this does is it says, go to my transformation service and pass all this information into the service and then put it back into that image. Now, and this is the size of that previous screen. So what happens again in the screen is Whenever I click on preview, it says go to the server, get me this image. And because we use the same code for the download, you can see that um, this is just essentially an HTTP get 
to the server. So that's the code in Flex. Um, as you can see, it's very compact. There's very little code here. Okay, so before we move on to uh, just looking at the source code of Grails and the Grails side, the server side of this, I just wanted to point out a few things. Um, if you want to take a look at the source code of this, um, because I have compiled this with source code enabled, you can just go in and do a view source. So right click view source and it will show you um, all the source code for this Flex application.